Well, like I have no drive, man. It won't turn on. Understood. Hey everyone, we're in uh, mid-Ohio for the second half of the season. We're uh, eight races to go. We're both in a great spot in the championship. Do you like this place? I do. This is one of my faves. I mean, I, I keep saying that every race, but uh, this is uh, the race I first uh, tried in IndyCar, so good memories here. Uh, yeah, we're you're fourth and I'm eighth in the championship and you know it's completely open still we still have eight races to go so uh, lots of points to play for we're yeah. ready to give it everything boom hardest part of mid ohio i think there's like four five six seven no yes like turn i think four, that five, makes six, or breaks seven. your lap yeah it, don't you think because if you screw up one you kind of paying for it the whole way the delta you use in four you'll probably pay for it in five and six as well yeah general you know the year has just been kind of going better and better and i think for us now it's kind of like we established like we kind of got a good base yeah. and you know we're pretty good in championship and i think now we just kind of want to get a good result like we're going to get a like a top three a top you know a, a, a win or podium you know that, that's that's kind of next step for us now really i guess grown into having a a, a really nice relationship yeah in the track and outside the track. I think we work really well together. I'm glad that he's staying in the family. I really like Pato because he's just a really happy guy and he has a great personality. Um, I like <laughs> all his Instagram posts that he makes with when he was in Indy, the Among Us suit. He's a really funny guy. Uh, always kind of been a more of a McLaren guy. Uh, Felix has a great personality as well as Pato. Good atm atmosphere with the with the drivers. Uh, good personalities. Um, so that's kind of where I lean towards, and I really like the color. So I lean to sign Look a shirt. You. <laughs> I love your shirt. Yeah. Come here. Do you want it in the number or do you want it in the shoulder? In the number. Number. Boom. Awesome. Good luck. Uh, pole lap in Mid Ohio. Well, I tell you how, but I've never gone to pole here. So um, I think what it's going to take to be on pole is um, man, it's such a flowing circuit. If you get one section of the uh, or part of the track wrong, it's going to mess up your whole lap or your whole sequence of momentum. So what's it going to take? Uh, I guess perfect in every corner, uh, but mostly in four, five, six, which is where you're closing out your lap. We're just hanging out. Uh, I mean, I said Scott Dixon because I tried to pass him uh, four years ago here, and it didn't didn't work that well. So uh, he's pretty tough to get around. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are hydrated, they're feeling good, and they're ready to crush it. <laughs> Felix Rosenquist. He's a tenth off awards time. His teammate. Can he go for a big chunk here? He'll get one more lap with 40 seconds to go. Rosenquist pops to P2. It is Arrow McLaren SP telling us they're not very good at Mid Ohio, but they sit one two right now. Oh, Lord becomes the ninth different pole sitter from nine qualifying sessions. That hasn't been done in IndyCar since 1961. Good job, man. What an extraordinary year that we are enjoying and witnessing. And well done, Pato Award and Aaron McLaren SP. That was a monster lap from Pato. He really had them covered. It didn't look like anyone really had a shot. Tenth and a half to Scott McLaughlin. One of the biggest gaps we've seen at the front so far this weekend but just an incredible drive from this young man. Right. Right here, that was a great qualifying for us. I, I couldn't quite get it in Q1 and Q2, so I'm glad I, I, I got it for the guys in Q3. And um, I'm excited for tomorrow. I think we have a great race car, and uh, let's go let's go fight, fight ourselves, or I guess maintain ourselves where we start, and uh, hopefully we get a race win. 
Uh, the goal for us today is clearly to uh, to win the race, but to have both cars on the podium at the end of the day. So I think it's going to be tire management, it's going to be fuel management, uh, and overall race pace is going to be key. Certainly starts and restarts as well will be very important uh, as the tires take a bit to warm up. Four-time Indy Car Champion, 1969 Indy 500, it similar? international motor it sounds car like grew up with Mario Andretti! Sweden is like the original yeah. OG yeah. Scandinavian yeah. language, yeah. then there's like branches of... Now we, we got Finnish, which is just... Hepala yeah. hatta! Yeah. Oli kaya pa 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 Driving the number seven, Hughes, Errol McGurran, SP7A, Felix Rosenquist. And standing first, driving the number five, Errol McGurran, SP7A, Pato Award! Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah? You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Up at time and they won the bourbon bowl. Bowl, baby. <laughs> when the mud dogs won the bourbon bowl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 Will we see green this time? Pato Awards, Scott McLaughlin. Two Chevys on that front row. Watch Colton Herter in the yellow and black Gainbridge car. Let's go! This time round, McLaughlin's going to move across and make that very difficult for Herter. Colton Herter and Felix Rosenquist in the black and yellow car, orange and blue car, trying to sort out. It's Rosenquist going to the outside. Elbows out. Rosenquist is on the inside in turn five. Scott McLaughlin's going to take the spot three wide behind. First incident of the race. And unfortunately, it has happened to Felix Rosenquist in the views Chevy for Aaron McLaren SP. You can see the frustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can see the smoke. strategy on the black tires and we actually managed to move up from uh, fourth to third so yeah it's a big big loss for us today. and here comes Pato Ward for a pit stop but it is anything but a routine pit stop not much you can diagnose in this time it's just hope you're going to primary firestone he's out nothing you can do in a pit stop hoping it just lasts well, we're down into the they are right there in the mix as well just the top seven or eight are pretty well spread out okay heads up there Come around, Rossi. Three, two, one. There you go. Clutch. Going on. Fire back up. Fire back up. Fire back up. Fire back up. We want to run, mate. We want to run. Drive, man, it won't turn on. Understood. Just sit tight. Do not move. All right, Pato and guys, what we're going to try to do, we're going to try to fire up one more time. We're going to try to launch and see if we can get running. If not, uh, we'll start to do some troubleshooting. Let's go gray eight. Try to feather the clutch. See if we can get this thing out of here. Go ahead. Yep. Okay, we're done. I feel bad for for the whole crew because not just our car failed, but the the seven did too. I feel like as a team we've done everything in qualifying, uh, but like I've mentioned so many times, like you know you you qualify well, 
and then you you don't know what to expect in a race, right? You qualify terrible, then you have a great race car, but then you didn't really maximize your weekend, so it just sucks. It sucks because the championship is so tight, and we've, we've already left so many points on the table uh, in so many different tracks, whether it was one thing or another, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's frustrating. It, it really is. You know, certainly looking into the issues, but, uh, you know, uh, failures on both cars. Um, very unfortunate, obviously. We left a lot of points on the table today with, with, uh, with very strong race cars, so that's, that's uh, you know, super disappointing. But we'll get back home. We've only got a little bit of time to, to find it, diagnose it, and solve it. Um, before we get to the next event, which is Toronto. Uh, so quick turnaround, it'll be good to be racing again.